Hello and welcome. This week, Chief of Naval Operations Admiral John Richardson released his strategic guidance, a design for maintaining maritime superiority. You can read it by going to navy.mil slash CNO. That's it there on the right hand side. Now, any focused organization centers on a strong mission. For the Navy, that's first and foremost to protect the homeland and American interests around the world. This is done by being there before trouble starts. And if necessary, engaging in and winning when conflict breaks out. Now, how many times do you hear that our Navy's the best? No one can stop us. It's become commonplace for us to call ourselves the greatest Navy in the world, to think we're invincible and that no other Navy will ever catch up. Well, that may not be the case if we don't start preparing for future conflict and future competition now. You know some of the major global players that command headlines around the world, Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, ISIS, and it's very easy to focus solely on today's headlines and today's challenges. In his guidance, CNO challenges leaders to look beyond the players and consider how the nature of the game has changed and will continue to change in the future. As he sees it, the sea system has become increasingly more important. The information system has become more and more pervasive. We're talking hardware, software, satellites, undersea cables, you name it. And technology continues to be introduced at faster and faster rates, from iPhones to weapon systems. All the while, resources remain fixed and constrained. Now, the bottom line here is that we're used to thinking that we're invincible, but if we don't take important steps now, we run the risk of losing our advantage. This design for maritime superiority lays out areas we must focus on, and that's where we're going to leave it for now. So get to the website and read it for yourself to see how CNO intends to shape our future Navy.